Lord bless you. You're welcome to day four of the seven days prayer stretch with Apostle Judas Baru. The seven dips you have gone four times. Tell your neighbor, the ones that are here and those who are online, tell yourself in the comment section, say, I have tried. Say, I have tried. You've been on this mountain for four days consistently. Just believe and know that God is set to release his wonders unto you tonight. Please don't forget to share the link with your family. Don't forget to share the link with your friends, your loved ones. So everyone can be a partaker of what God is consistently doing upon this mountain. Please share the link to everyone you know. People you might not have talked to for a long while, please. Go under your contacts, find them and share the link. So they'll partake of what God is doing upon this mountain. Lift up your voice and just begin to thank God for the past three days. God has done wonders in our midst. If you have been here since day one, just thank God for what he has been doing for three days now. His word has come forth. His power has been evident. It's not by our doing. It's not by our strength. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to thank him for what he has been doing on this mountain for the past three days. He has been faithful. He's the doer of every good thing. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Thank you for what you have done upon this mountain. We give you all the glory for the testimonies we have seen. Lord, we exalt and magnify your name. We bless you, O oh God. We return all the glory that is due unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Like I said before, today is day four. I don't need to tell you what you need to do. Your heart is to be prepared. Your heart is to be open because God is set to release and dish out unto us. Please, my brother, my sister, take this time right now for the next few minutes and begin to speak life into whatever it is that you are desiring from God. I'm telling you, by the end of the seven days, this prayer that you are praying, you'll be shocked at the testimonies you're going to receive. Lift up your voice. Say, God, I have come on this mountain. Today is the fourth day. I am not returning back the same way I came. I must encounter you in a different dimension. Somebody lift up your voice and begin to make that declaration. Lift up your voice and begin to speak on today for. What is that expectation? What is that desire? From the depth of your heart, lift up your voice and begin to speak them into reality.
thanksgiving. Thank him in advance for your miracles that you have received. Even though you have not seen them, thank him because he has already come. Somebody lift up your voice and thank him. Father, I thank you. 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 Hey, Thank you for a refreshing. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for opening my eyes. Promises concerning me. On this fourth day, thank you for what you have released to me. Thank you, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for changing my countenance. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, King of Glory. We give you all the honor, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. One more time, you are welcome. We are glad to have you join us. Today is day four. Day four of the seven days prayer stretch with Apostle Judas Zabaru. Please don't forget, share the link with your friends. Let people partake of what God is doing. Don't be selfish and keep it to yourself. Please share the link. Let others be blessed. Hallelujah. At this moment, I have the privilege to welcome a man of fire. A man that God has raised for the nation of Sierra Leone. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as I welcome Minister Michael Kabia. Celebrate, celebrate. At this moment, don't stop praying, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Wherever you are, can you just speak in the Holy Ghost? For out of her belly shall flow rivers of living water. Wherever you are, for you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. For whatever is bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever is loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Now make that demand, make that demand wherever you are. Lift up your voice and pray in the Holy Ghost. If you can shout, it is Ipoa. If you can clap your hands, it is fine. If you can do anything, it is fine. But now is, is, is the time, now is the time for you to travel in the Holy Ghost. Ipalia Gomba Safandi Epaya. Oh Lord, we travel, we travel, we travel. We are sending the most holy faith by speaking in the Holy Ghost. Ashepali Kapa Rekapada Dataya. Regados Kafalia Pakadiatea. Makos Kataliapa. For this is Mount Zion, the city of the living God, and the company of honorable angels. For in this Mount Zion, there shall be my deliverance. Makub Rekatinaya. Rekapaska Palapa. Today, the voice of Pressure Bush. I will pray until something happens. I will pray until to something happen. My generation must know that I was born to win. That I am born to win. Wherever you are speaking the Holy Ghost. Rakapana la paya. Lift up your voice. Wherever you are, in your living room, in your bedroom, wherever you are, lift up your voice. Yeah, 
you shall rise again. He has given grace to the humble. What are you doing? Have you forgot the man Cain, a killer, a murderer? He was having a mark in his head. That's the enemy he went. People will kill him. And Cain came to God. He said, Papa God, I beg. This body is too much for me. And he said, God, they want to kill me. I know I am a sinner. Then God said, from today, I place a mark on you. Anybody who is if they touch you, God will be in their generation. A killer was helped by God. A man called Cain. A killer was helped by God. What is that thing that you have done? That you think that God will not help you? That they will not restore you? No, it is because you don't know where to take it. I said, the Bible says, for in Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. Oh my God. Whatever has been lost, has been restored. We are the Kaka Wom, the Pamla Wom, have stolen it. Oh, who told you your vision is lost? Who told you your mission is lost? Who told you your assignment has been made?
generation ladies and gentlemen sacrificing our time to be here is not something we are just here for as fun fair it's because God has given an instruction and I have the privilege you know to serve God with this man of God I have seen his heart for God and it's a blessing it's really a blessing ladies and gentlemen please help me celebrate the grace of God upon our pastor Judas Zavari hallelujah hallelujah Wherever you are, just lift up your hands wherever you are. 
If you can lift up one hand to the heavens, please do it. Wherever you are right now, Zaka Shotini Makaba, your lips should not be silent. We're here to pray. Keep praying in tongues. For, forget about what is happening. Wherever you are, with those hands lifted, it says, The lifting of my hands be like an evening sacrifice. This is your symbol of surrender. It's a symbol of surrender. Lift up those hands. Rakama kasika te da baka shute kaba, ika to de kati ne moske kate kaba, ika zunde kamande kabash, landa kabas kita kaba, ika kanda kasika te, ika kanda la kabaka shika te, zata kabaka zinde, ika zata ka, irinde kamo. In Jesus name you know, one of the first things we're going to pray for tonight, we're going to pray against the spirit of death. Amen. There is somebody right now that you are part of us. You are either online or in some way connected to what we're doing. Even this week, about two times, it's like you've been involved in a life and death situation, like you've almost been involved in an accident of some sort. And constantly there's been this overwhelming fear of death in your life. And what this means is that the devil definitely has a plan concerning your destiny. He wants to cut short that which God is about to do. You know what the devil does is that when he senses that God wants to do something in your life, that is when he sends an attack. But tonight we're going to pray. Because if there is a man to pray, I believe there is a God to answer. Yeah. So tonight we're going to pray. If you are that person, please let us know in the chat. Please let us know. It's like there's this overwhelming sense of death upon you. You are not old. You have no reason to be considering death at this point. But it seems as if there's this overwhelming fear of death. It is not normal. Don't think it's normal. It is the, it is the plan of the devil. That is the work of demons. Demons are trying to put you in the place of fear. You see, there is a spirit of fear that leads to death. That is the spirit that wants to be placed on you. But we're going to come against it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to take one minute and then we're going to lift up a sound. Hallelujah. We're going to lift up a sound. It says, it says, you shall not die but live. It says, you shall decree the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We're going to blast in tongues for the next one minute. We're going to pray and lift up a sound of life. We're not going to sing the song when I say we're going to lift up a sound. In our prayer, as we blast in tongues, it's like we're sending life back to you. You, that person, that this is your situation. As we blast in tongues, we're communicating life back to you. We are eradicating all the systems of the devil concerning your destiny. Can we lift up our voice and begin to pray? Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice. You have to pray like your situation is urgent because it is urgent. Elaka kaba shita kaba skita ba, lima kasita lima ka. Somebody lift up your voice now. Lava shika lili ba skita, elaka kaba ni kaba, lima shika lili ba. You are going to this one by yourself. Can we lift up our voices? Leba Shika Kiriba.
They will not, they will not paint you or betray you too soon. They will not paint you or betray you too soon. This person that I'm talking about is like you have even had dreams. You, 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 you have, you have experienced some dreams wherein you saw people at your funeral. It's like you are dead. People were crying for you, and you would wake up with an overwhelming sense of fear. But I announce to you that we will not see your obituary. You are going to live. Uh, this life that I have. It's the life of God in me. This life that I is the life, life of God. Come on. This life. A lot of God. It's the life of Christ. Ah, the cover, the cover. The cover, the cover. It's the life of God. sense of fear it is not a normal thing anymore I want to announce to you now that is why as we are praying right now as we're praying tonight you better get involved in this session don't be distracted you know one of the things that we prayed about before we started was we prayed against distraction it was just about an hour or two ago as I was coming or so that I saw an obituary for a young man of 28 years 28 years I looked at the obituary for almost two minutes I was in shock it was someone that I've met before a very young man full of life died not sure he was sick because I'm not aware of that for whatever reason his life was cut short at 28 years the age that his life was supposed to begin that is when his life ended but as long as the Lord still sits on the throne that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Hey! Am I talking to somebody? As long as long as our God is still on the throne, is our God still on the throne? He is still there. It will not be your portion. You shall live. You shall have. No, you shall not only exist, but you shall have a fullness of life. 
a fullness of life. You shall have a richness. You shall enjoy a richness in life. I'm not talking about just living and you. It says when you decree a thing, it comes to pass. You're going to use your lips and you're going to be making bold decrees into your life. You're going to be making bold decrees into your situation. You're going to be making bold decrees concerning what your health. There is a lady connected with us right now that you have, you know, you have a heart condition. It's like you woke up one day with just a chest pain and now it's a full-blown heart condition. A young lady. You better pray. Are you hearing me? You better pray. There is a lady that, as I, as I was talking about making decrees right now, the Spirit of the Lord just told me that there is a lady, it's like a heart condition, and even you yourself, you are wondering that what have I done? You are not, it's not like you are even someone who you've enjoyed life or you've experienced any much in life. But then at an age now, you are experiencing a severe heart condition. I want to tell you that the, these organs that we have in our bodies, someone place them there. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? The doctors did not create your organs. There is a God that pieced it all together and is about to restore that which the devil wants to steal from you. If you are that person, please drop it in the chat. Let us know. And also to announce to you all the decrees and all the, the word, all the, the, the proclamations that came from God yesterday, they were confirmed. Every single one of them. Amen. Every single one of them, I, I wish we would, we would find a way to share it online. Every single one of them were confirmed. There is a lady that I think just sent um, a message to the person that is controlling the testimonies that she was actually joining the prayer, praying for her dad. That she has been separated from her dad for too long. Why? Because her dad is a Muslim and she is a Christian. I believe because of her decision to be a Christian, her dad no longer wants anything to do with her. But her dad is in a very critical medical condition. So while she was online, imagine the kind of love that even though her dad has abandoned her, while she was online yesterday, she was just praying concerning her dad. And you remember that yesterday God gave that word that there was someone, a lady, that was praying on behalf of your father. Now listen to me. The fact that God is about to heal your dad, this will be the reason why your dad will give his life to Christ. Amen. And this will be this will be what will solidify your relationship with your father. If you, I hope you are still with us on this prayer. I hope you are still with us because we are still going to pray that as God has sent forth His word, God reveals to redeem. We believe that as He has sent forth His word, it's not just for uh, excitement that ah He can say something and then it is a reality. No, if He just says it and then it doesn't come to pass and then lives are not transformed, then it's a waste of time. So as we're praying tonight, we're going to be praying healing into your father. We're going to be praying healing into your family. There's even someone that you're praying concerning your husband. Like I told you, we cannot mention everything. But we're going to pray tonight. If there's one thing that we will do, we will pray. As I'm talking right now, can we lift up our voices and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost? We're making decrees into the lives of people. Can you lift up your voice? Don't be distracted now. Don't be distracted now. Reba kashente, 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 la nakabas kita kama, reba kama kashente de bebe, la kama te kama. Somebody lift up your voice. I told you your prayer. La de kama shikade, la nakabas kita de bebe, reba kashikade, la nakama. Lift up your voice wherever you are.
now now we have that out of the way the spirit of the lord just placed that on my heart we're going to go into what god really wants us to speak about tonight what we're going to be making decrees about yesterday i told you that today we're going to be praying concerning what destiny relationships we're going to be praying concerning life partners specifically also in the area of marriage but not only marriage but i mean destiny relationships that pertains to marriage but also within your circle you know within those who are pertaining to your destiny you know one of the worst things that could happen to someone is for you to get married to the wrong person am i talking to somebody the worst thing that could ever happen to be it a man or a woman is for you to get married to someone that is not for you you know every day one of the things that i pray for you know most of my prayers in case you didn't know most of my prayers are thanksgiving and one of the things that i'm very thankful for every day is for my wife and you will not understand why because i cannot explain it to you you know when i see my wife doing some certain things i'm not really shocked you know because i prayed for those things to happen there was a season of my life where you know earlier as a young boy i didn't want to get married at all in my early 20s when you know god started using me in a certain way i knew that i had to settle down and i knew that if i were to make a mistake in the area of marriage then my whole destiny will be forgotten you know so there was a season where i was consistently praying for the woman that god was going to send to me because i am not a normal man do you understand you see so i had i needed someone that god would fashion specifically for me you know so when i see my wife manifesting certain giftings and all these things i am not shocked i'm just thank i just thank god that god thank you for being a god who answers prayers imagine how, what it would have been like if i didn't have the kind of woman that i have now in my life amen so what i'm why am i saying all this i'm saying all this because tonight we're going to pray yeah, those of us i see specifically some of us joining even now online one of your biggest fear is to not miss it in the area of marriage even for those of us present here because imagine you a woman with all this passion that you have for god and you, then you go and marry a man that does not care about god all of this development will be for nothing all of this spiritual development will be for nothing why because at the end of the and then they got married and now you are suffering and your prayer and this is a prayer that you cannot even mention imagine a prayer that you cannot talk about imagine a deep-seated desire in your spirit that you cannot even talk about it because you don't want to seem as if you are complaining you don't want to be explaining your problem to people so you are suffering you are dying on the inside all you have is a ring on your finger because of the ring on your finger be too much in the hurry of that you see people smiling and giggling online not everyone is happy in their homes amen that is why when you when you are in a space where you know that it's your time to settle down you do it what prayerfully you don't do it because of height or bank account you do it what prayerfully that's why tonight we're going to as we're making decrees we're also going to pray there are seven ladies that i see you settling down by next year by the special grace of God. I usually tell I usually tell the ladies that I have around me, you know what? Please let's 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 pay attention, please. I usually tell the ladies that I have around me that don't say things as if I, I'm not ready yet. You cannot be ready. God is the one that should be ready. Oh, I know I'm not ready yet. So if you are of age, you should be prepared for what God will bring to you. That is why you have to stay on the altar of prayer that God when you send my man or if you are the man you stay that god when you send my woman may i not be foolish enough to let her pass me or may i not be foolish enough to let him pass me so tonight we're going to pray concerning destiny partners you understand we're going to be praying concerning what destiny partners destiny relationships that god before the end of the first half of this year connect me to the person that you have ordained for me this prayer is not for any, everyone no. it is for those that you know in your spirit that it is your time something tells you it is your, it's your time how did i know that it was my time i had this desperate passion to just to just develop myself as a man 
that's how you know that's one of the ways that you know that it's your time that god is about to send someone to you it's not when you have a list written down anyone can write a list it's not when you have a list it's when you have this desperate desire for self good some of you you have been preparing yourself prayerfully you have been consistent in the things of god you have maintained purity you have maintained holiness for this long it will, it will not be a waste in jesus name yeah. am i talking to somebody you will not have gone through all of that process of spiritual pruning and then you marry a man that cannot love you a god will reject it a thousand times and there are also men that you've subjected yourself to training and self-control can we pay attention please there are also men that you've subjected yourself to discipline and self-control you will you will not have done that and then marry a witch It might sound funny to some people, that, but I know what I'm saying. There are some men that you, you had the opportunity to mess around, but you have rejected that lifestyle. You have kept yourself as best as possible. May you not have gone through all of that process and then marry a witch. Your pray, imagine, you now go and marry a witch. All of your prayer is for the witch, is for the demon to leave you. Kai! Are, are you talking to me? Oh, you are praying. Pray. No, no, but pray. You need to pray. I know what I'm saying. I know, before I got married, there was this years before I met my wife, I was so afraid. I was like, Kai, if I like what they go so they go, I'm doing the God's work. They go and marry one witch now. That time all of your spiritual energy you'll be using it against your wife. Tonight we're gonna pray. Okay, let's be sensitive right now on this one. This is, this is a destiny-defining moment. It's a destiny-defining moment for all of us here, those of you online watching right now, especially those that you know that you are in a place where you've been preparing yourself. You're going to lift up your voice and pray that God, right now, within the first half of this year, connect me to the person that you've assigned to me. If the person is already in my life, help me to locate this individual. If the person is coming, help me to be sensitive enough to recognize the person when they come. Can we lift up our voice and pray? This is not a prayer for shouting. Talk to God yourself. You don't have to shout about this one. Men, most of the times, men, we think that this is not a prayer that we should pray. Sit down, don't pray. I just pray that God helps you so that you don't marry a witch. Amen. Let us pray. Say, God, increase my sensitivity. Increase my sensitivity. It says that he that finds a wife, increase my sensitivity to be able to find. Increase my sensitivity to be able to find. Turn on my location. Turn on my location. Wherever she is, wherever he is, this is not a carnal prayer now. You have to pray this from a depth within yourself. If you are concerned about your destiny, this is a prayer that you will not take lightly. We have seen men up close who missed it in marriage. Until they died, they paid the price for it. We have seen men who missed it in marriage and they are still alive today, but it's like they are dead. They cannot smile. They cannot be happy. We have seen women who miss it in marriage. They are still alive today, but their life has been wasted. They are just honoring now the covenants that they made with God, that they cannot leave that home. But it is a struggle, it's a painful reality for them. That will not be your portion as you pray. It will not be your portion as you pray. Ah. I see, I see someone right now online. It's like you are in a place of making a decision. I see you, you are struggling with making a decision concerning different men. It's like the request is already there. You are wondering who to choose. Don't worry, God is going to show you. Just pray. God is going to show you. You are in a place of making a decision. You are struggling with choosing. Don't choose based on your flesh. Don't listen to your friends. When you enter into that home, if you make a wrong choice, your friends will not be there with you. So you better pray. You are in a place of making a decision. We are always one decision away 
from a totally different life. You better pray this prayer. I see there is someone online right now. You are struggling to make a decision. Talk to God this moment. 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 Talk to God. God, send my own. This is not a, this is not from a place of jealousy. It's not from a place of envy. Talk to God that God, you have revealed to me that it's my time. Turn on my location. May he find me. May she find me. You are a man and you, are, you don't want to pray this prayer because you are saying that you are not ready yet to marry. The earlier you meet the person, the better. Whenever you finally get married, that is, your, that is between you and God. But it's better you are sensitive right now. Pray this prayer that God, let me locate this individual. Bold decrees tonight. Reka shika deka. Rata kaba seke tede boz. Ika daka man deke zi. Reba ka jute kaba. Rapa skita kaba. Somebody pray. Speak your, your, your spouse into being. Some of you right now, as you are praying, you are cre it's like you are creating the individual that is, that is God sent to you. In the place of prayer, it's like you are building the person. God is shaping that person for you right now as you are praying. Don't worry. You are 35, it does not matter. Whatever your age might be, don't worry. It's better you do it at God's time and live in peace than you do it at man's time and then live in pieces. Forget about your age. Just lift up your voice to God that God that God, 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 God God, 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 God. In Jesus' name we pray. We're going to pray. There is a couple that we're going to pray for. It's like your, your marriage is on the edge because of the impossibility of childbirth. I don't know what it's like. And I'm sure for 99 or 100 percent of us here, we don't know what it's like. It's like your marriage is on the brink of collapsing because of the impossibility of childbirth. You've been married for years now, and there has been no child. And your prayer to God, you have prayed, you have gone to a hospital, you have done several things, and it does not seem to be working out. I want to announce to you that by this time next year, you would have a child. Amen. If you are that person that I'm talking about, that is what God told me. I am not a what would I call it now? A I don't have the office of a prophet. Okay, I am not an acclaimed prophet. But whenever I speak, I'm always mindful of what I what I say. If God did not say it, I would not say it. That is what God is telling me right now. I I hope you don't think it is impossible. Don't allow fear to creep into your heart. Don't start saying that ah, man of God, amen. No, but you don't know how it is. I've done everything. They have told me that it's not possible. Forget about what they've told you. Whose report shall we believe? We believe in the report of the Lord. I'm announcing to you right now that your marriage is going to flourish. You are going to bear not even only one child. God is preparing your womb. To you, 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 if you had given birth before now, you would have given birth to a devil that would have destroyed your life, that would have caused you pain. God has been keeping you so long. He has been nurturing you. To give birth to a king he has been nurturing you so you will give birth to someone that will bring joy to your life that is why it took so long the delay was for a reason you were not delayed because god forgot about you you were delayed because god was preparing you am i talking to somebody and i'm announcing to you like i told you guys tonight is a night of decree tonight we're making proclamations we have ascended into a realm wherein we can speak the mind of god concerning his people you do not connect to this prayer time for nothing you must testify 
if he did not want to testify you should have not connected you shouldn't have connected to what we are doing but as long as you are part of what we are doing right now you must testify this couple that I'm praying for I stretch forth my hands to you that by virtue of the grace of God that is available via this altar we'll pray for you that your child will come forth that you shall be fruitful you shall multiply and that you would have joy in the morning you will give birth don't worry you will give birth don't worry you will give birth don't worry it is sealed and settled that's the word of the lord concerning you am i talking to somebody amen we're also going to pray there's someone that god showed me earlier today we're going to pray in the area of you know when god wants to bless a man he does not give you money no he gives you people why because even when you have money it's people that will still give you the money two of us don't tell me that you wake up one day and you found money at the front of your door probably that one is is ritual is ritual money our god does not give money like that or some thief went to steal in your area and took up to the bag at the front of your door please find a way to return that money that's not what we're, we're talking about you see but what we're praying for you know is concerning destiny helpers and partners okay when god wants to bless a man if, if he just gives you money you will finish it when he wants to bless you he gives you quality people how do you know that the man is truly blessed is by the, the the amount of quality people that you find in his life because you cannot you cannot execute your vision alone you cannot make impact just by yourself even jesus as powerful as he was he still needed what people he still needed the right amount of people i'm going to pray for you and for even those present here including myself you see this here what god is going to do for you is that god is going to make an investment in you that investment will be an investment of quality people it will be an investment of destiny helpers that you would never be wanting for people you don't understand what this, it is some of you you've been too you've been poor for too long that all you think about is money you don't know what is truly important people I've experienced a little bit in my lifetime what it means to have good people in your life. Not people that just smile with you. Some of the people that you have, they're just taking space. They're just taking space, wasting time. They're just, you guys are just poor together. You guys just, are just poor together. Hey, no plan. You cannot help them, they cannot help you. Nah. You have too much of those people. It is changing right now by the grace of God. Destiny partnership. There's some of us, you are under the sound of my voice right now. What God is doing for you this year is connecting you with the right people. That tells me that be open to people, though. be open to people. Be open to new people. God is sending people to you. Ah. If you are the one in you, will sense it right now. God is connecting you, God, even myself, as I'm making this decree right now. I receive this for myself. That you will bless me with quality people. You will send ministering angels unto me in the form of men. You will send those that pertain to my destiny. May I not miss them. Ah, God. God, this year, connect me with such people. Open the doors of favor. I shall find favor not only before God but before men this year. Connect me, Lord. Connect me, Lord. There are those of you you are watching online. There are, there are great things that you want to accomplish, but you know that you cannot accomplish it by yourself. You've not you've not found the right people to accomplish these things. But I announce to you that this is your year. That God is connecting you to quality people. That all those things that seem as if they were just mere dreams. They are turning into visions and then they will come to reality ah it says the old men they dream dreams it says the young men they see visions pray oh, i give you one more minute you are going to pray destiny helpers into your life so now we're not just going to speak in tongues randomly we're going to be making proclamations pray as you are here praying or as you're connected online Pray people into your life. You know the people that you need to execute your, 
your, your desire in life. Pray them into your reality. Picture them and bring them here. It says, be it on earth as it is in heaven. It says, looking not on the things that are seen. They are temporal. The people that you have around you right now, they are just temporal. They are not the key people. It says they are temporal. You are going to bring the people, you are going to picture them right now. God is going to give you a vision of them. And then you are going to capture them in your, in your vision and you are bringing them into your reality. Bring them into your reality. People that you will not have to force relationships with. People that their delight will be to, to sponsor you. It will be their joy to support the vision God has given to you. Uh, if you know what it means to carry a vision, you will pray this prayer. If you know what it means to carry the burden of a vision, you will pray this prayer. You will pray this prayer. The Bible says, says where there is no vision, the people perish. But also where there is no people, vision will also perish. <laughs> where there is no vision, the people will perish. But where there are no people, the vision will also perish. So you have a vision, pray that God will connect you with the people to execute it. It is pride to think that you will make impact by yourself. It is pride. So you, like you, as you are praying right now, you are entering into that game. You are going to, you are going to picture your destiny helpers. You capture them and bring them into your reality. You bring them into your reality. Substitute the wrong people for the right ones. Ah substitute the wrong people for the right ones you are taking some people out and you are putting the right people in it can be done lord i decree this upon myself even now the right people destiny relationships destiny partners connect me with them even for your business pray business partners Business partners, this business idea you have, you cannot do it by yourself. Oh. You have a global franchise that you want to start. You know that this is a global business. You better start praying for the right people. For the right people, for investors. I hear investors, 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 investors investors these people their delight will be to just bless you as you speak they provide as you speak they provide it will not be even them doing it by themselves it will be God walking through them I give you 30 more seconds to pray this prayer if you care about your destiny you will pray oh Lord remember me when you are giving gifts to men, when you are giving the gift of people to men, God, remember me. I believe I am ready, Lord. Connect me to such people. Destiny helpers, kingdom financiers, people that are supposed to take my... I, I, you have dwelt on this plane for too long. Some of you, that is what the word of the Lord is saying to you. That you have been in this dimension for too long. It is time for you to step into a greater dimension. And you need people to take you from where you are now to where you ought to be. As you are praying, God is sending people. You are going to give the testimony. New people in your life. Ela, 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 Landa Kabashi Katelebe, Rikaman de Kabaskita, Landa Kabashi de Debo, Rikaman de Kaba. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. We're going to pray. There's someone that we're going to pray for. You're struggling with sexual addiction. Now, someone would think that, ah, we all have the desire to... You know, there was a time that I used to think that people who um, claim that 
they have you know demonic oppression or the devil is working in them you know in the area of fornication or sexual immorality i used to think that they were just liars because i was like we all have desire to have sex it's just self-control that you need you know what this person that we are praying for it is like the devil has held you captive in that area that you want to have self-control in the area of you know sexual practice but you cannot control yourself it's like you lack the control when it comes to that aspect you don't even know how you do it when you do it who you do it with it just keeps happening over and over again and you have this heavy sense of guilt and shame upon you and you don't know how to how to deal with it you cannot even talk about it with a pastor because you are afraid that they will judge you you cannot even talk about it with a brethren in the church because you know for sure that they will judge you you cannot even talk about it with your family because people will have high expectations of you it is a it is an operation of demonic spirits concerning you that is why we're going to pray that is why we're going to pray tonight you are someone you have a desire you are a good person it's not like as if you're a bad person it's not as if you are free or anything it's not as if you love these things but you've just been subjected to this and you want to be delivered from it there is the spirit of deliverance present here today the spirit of deliverance what god told us is that tonight we make decrees he says whatever we decree tonight it comes to pass whatever we decree so i'm praying for this person don't be ashamed if it is you you don't have to type in the chat if you don't want to you can send a message to the number no one else will see it except me so please you can send if it is you i'd like to talk with you some more and pray with you okay but we're going to pray can we just lift up a prayer for this individual we're going to pray that that thing that has been holding you bound that chain that has been tied to you that has rendered you a slave to sexual immorality it has rendered you a slave to sexual addiction we dismiss that spirit right now in the mighty name of jesus we break that chain right now in the mighty name of jesus we break that chain right now in the mighty name of jesus we break that chain off you in the mighty name of jesus we break that chain off you in the mighty name of jesus we break that chain you are restored fully you are restored fully this is your day of deliverance it is your day of deliverance this is your day you are restored fully you are restored fully I decree and declare that by the mercies of God today is your day deliverance has found you tonight the spirit of the Lord that brings forth liberty that breaks chains is available here tonight and you've been delivered can you lift up your voice and pray for this individual in jesus name we pray you know as we were praying for destiny partners and destiny relationships the lord just told me that there a scholarship has been made available for someone a scholarship has been made available for someone that is the benefit of connecting with the right people god just told me that he's connecting you with someone that whatever it is that pertains to your education it has been sorted out you don't have to worry anymore that is what the spirit of the lord just said just said a scholarship has been made available to someone a scholarship has been made available to someone a scholarship has been made available to someone if you are the person you better shout a bigger amen Shout amen one more time if you are the person. Yeah. A scholarship has been made available to someone. Yeah. Let me tell you something about prayer. 
Praise the Lord. You know, I know that prayer, it is good when we can pray using our energy. But one of the best ways to pray that I have found is when you've prayed and then you've ascended into a place where you know that you are no longer the one doing the prayer. You know that, that you have the enablement of this Holy Spirit that is the one praying through you. When you know that you are no longer the one speaking anymore. You have the enablement of the Holy Spirit and then He's the one speaking through you. Why am I saying this? You are probably in the chat right now. I want you to take advantage of this atmosphere. We have a few more minutes before we close. Make decrees into your life, into different areas of your life. You have ascended into a realm. Speak into your life. Speak into different pockets of your life. Speak. You know the areas where you need God's intervention. Speak into those areas right now. Under this atmosphere, speak into those areas. Speak into the area, into the area of family. If it is in the area of business, if it is in the area of childbirth, if it is in the area of relationships, if it is in the area of education, in the area of ministry, make decrees into those areas. Now you are not begging God, you are making a decree. They can shin the kaban, the kaban, the kaban, skete de beke shita de ba 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 Make a decree right now into those areas of your life as you are connecting online. Speak into your life. You are your best prophet. You are your best prophet. Make a decree, make a decree, make a decree, make a decree. Make a decree, make a decree, make a decree. Make a decree. Make a decree, make a decree, make a decree, make a decree. Make a decree. I give you 30 more seconds. Make a decree into your life. Make a decree concerning your family, specific members in your family. Make a decree. Make a decree. Make a decree. Make a decree, make a decree, make a decree. Mm. Make a decree, come on. Proclaim, proclaim, don't be afraid. Use your lips. You are a man of God. You are a woman of God. You can also speak into your life.
my mouth will testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. Can you sing that with me? My mouth, my mouth will testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. One more time, my mouth will testify. My mouth will testify the goodness of the Lord upon my life. We're going to sing that one more time. Sing it for me, depth prayerfully, that you will testify. Go on. My mouth. Testimony. My mouth say in my mouth. The goodness. Hey, for the last time. Hey, my mouth.
My own voice, Lord, is all that's like, He has brought me. He will do it. He will do it.
These testimonies are for people who believe in Jesus. That is why if you are joining us online, we want to give you an opportunity. If for whatever reason you are yet to accept Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and personal Savior, we want you to take advantage of this moment. Okay? We want you to take advantage of this moment. Our testimony is the testimony of Jesus. Our testimony is the testimony of Jesus. If we glory, if, if we boast in anything, we boast in Jesus. It's the reason why we are gathered here. So we want to give you an opportunity before we end tonight. In a couple of minutes, we'll be done. I want you, if you are yet to receive Christ into your heart as your Lord and Savior, I believe that this is your moment. Amen. The Bible says that no one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. And I believe that we have right now the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit. So right now, as you are even watching online, you must feel an enabling. You must feel a prompting in you to submit yourself to the, the, the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So I want to give you this opportunity. Wherever you are, just bow your heads. Lift up your hands. You're going to say this prayer with me. Say, God, I come before you today knowing that I'm a sinner, desperately in need of your grace. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and I believe that he came into this world to die on my behalf, to pay the price for the sin that I committed so that I would have a relationship with you, God the Father. And so this moment, Father, I ask that you would forgive my sin and that you will blot away all my wrongdoings and that you would accept me as your child into your kingdom, Father. And that I would have a new life because you said in your word that if any man be in Christ, is a new creature. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. So I believe tonight that I have been made new. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can we celebrate those ones that have said this prayer with us? Let us celebrate them. Can we celebrate them? We want to congratulate you wherever you are for taking this decision. And we want to, we want to announce to you that this is the best decision that you can ever take in your life. It takes about a minute to take this decision. But it is the best decision you can ever do. And people oftentimes neglect the importance of it because of how simple it is to do. But that's how our God does. Do you understand? That's how God does. Can you say that's how God does? That's how God does. He hides the most contradicting and complicating things. The deepest things in, is hidden in simplicity. You see, so in one minute you can just change. You can have a new life. And that is what has happened tonight with you. As a team and as a ministry, we want to celebrate you for taking this decision. And we would like to connect with you. So if you have given your life to Christ, you can also send you a message to the same number on the screen. You can send a message so that we can connect with you and talk with you some more. Today is what day four. And we're meeting again tonight for day five. Hey! I don't know if I should announce what God has said concerning day five. I don't think I should announce it. Should I announce what God has said? No, I will not. Right, let me not even ask. Just make sure you connect online. And as you are connecting, connect with your family. You know, some people, they would ask for the link or they would connect with the link and they would not share it to nobody. That is selfishness. Connect your family. Share with your friends. Let them also join. Maybe God will send a prophetic word that will connect to them. Okay, so please tell your family, your friends, all the people that concern you, that are, that are pertaining to your life. And let us all meet online. Tomorrow is day five. Tomorrow we will be having an amazing man of God joining us. His name is Minister Delight. He will be joining us here tomorrow night. Minister Delight. Can we celebrate the grace of God upon Minister Fireman, the, the Michael Tabia? Fire, fire. That is my brother. That is my brother. Powerful man of God. Powerful man. I believe that his prayer session before I came was what ended my voice. The man of God was praying. I was asking myself, do I still need to come? I do anything. The man of God is a great carrier of God's presence. He's an oracle of God. Let's celebrate him one more time. Man of God, thank you for being here. Seven dips. We have done what's four. Four dips. We have entered into a realm of proclamations. Don't miss tomorrow. Ah, that's all I will say. Don't miss tomorrow. I pray that I see you tomorrow. God bless you. Can we celebrate Jesus? Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you have been blessed. There's nothing more to say. Just get prepared for day five. Guys, at the comment section, say I'm not going left in the road. You cannot start day one, day two, day three, day four, and just leave it like that. No, please. Get yourself prepared for what God is going to do. Somebody lift up your voice and let's just thank God for what he has done. Day four has ended. We're entering into day five. Now let's thank him for the four days. Lift up your voice and thank him for the strength that he has made available every single day. We are here every single day. Young people are gathered together. We are here praying with you online. Let's thank God for the strength even for you that is online. Thank him for the strength, for the resources he has made available for you. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't miss day five. See you tomorrow, same time. God bless you.